Okay, so let's see if we can make sense of partitioning segments proportionally. Last time we had the numbers, this time let's see if we can create the numbers. First establish the ratio of the segment lengths. Each part of the ratio, GW, WC, determine the coordinates of point W. Begin with a step-by-step, -step, okay? In the part ratio, scenario two, which part corresponds to G, W? In the part, two-thirds. Two. Three. Okay. Determine the ratio of the length G, W to W, C. Okay, so if we have G, W, two thirds, one third, two. The part whole fraction is a ratio. Two of the five. Now I use the number. Select the segment corresponding to the horizontal distance G to C. Okay, G to C from two, two to six, there's eight units, eight of them. Select the segment to the horizontal, four, negative 11, 15. Select the segment corresponding to the horizontal between G and W. Three units. Two fifths. Two fifths. Okay, so can I put sixteen over eight? 16 over 5, 2 fifths of the distance. Okay, 2 fifths of 15. 2 fifths of 15, 30 over 5. Select the intermediate point W. X sixteen fifths, sixteen fifths. So we have two minus sixteen fifths. Now the Y negative eleven plus Thirty over five hmm.
Okay, so there's some quite a bit of math on this. Quite a bit of math on this. Okay. Okay, one to one E B. B H is one to one, so one, one. Oh, yeah. Determine the ratio one. So one to two, one out of the whole. Okay. The horizontal distance between E and H. E and H. E and H is 25 minus 6. The horizontal distance. Horizontal distance between E and B. Horizontal. Calculate the horizontal distance between E and B. Half of 19. The exact coordinates of B. X. 6. Plus 9.5. Negative 1. Plus 1. One. I knew that. Okay. Now the coordinate. 15.5 comma negative 1. In problems like this one where the point is evenly described, you can also use the midpoint formula to calculate the distances. So the midpoint formula x1 plus x2 submit submit Huh? Oh. Oh. Six plus, okay. Six plus twenty-five. And negative one plus negative one. Okay. Okay, one to one, one enter, one enter, two. Okay, now horizontal distance between C and I, horizontal C and I, seven, fifteen. Nine and negative six. Nine minus a negative six. Okay. Or is C and Z. Okay. The vertical distance. So that's going to be half. Half nine minus seven point five. Nine nine 
the vertical distance between C and D. Okay, so we're going to have 9, 9 minus, or minus 6 over 2. Okay, halfway between there and there. 15, 7, exact coordinates. Okay, the x coordinate is 7 and 4, which is 11. And negative, negative 6 plus 7.5. 11 comma 1.5. Seven and seven. Oh, fifteen. Sorry. And here, nine and negative six. Now, this one isn't the same. Okay, one, enter, one, enter, one comma two, enter, in the E, 26 and 8. Um, six and seven, negative six. Plus seven. Six plus seven. Okay. What's this distance? Half of that. Six, seven, 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 seven. Oh, vertical. Need dumb dumb. Eight is nine. Okay, the coordinates of W. So we want to take that coordinate and that coordinate. So we have 0.5, 0.5, 0.5. Okay, we have 0.5, 0.5, 0.5. Parenthesis. Okay. Now the midpoint rule. When you're finding the middle, we just add negative six and seven. Negative six plus a seven. Negative six plus a seven. Eight and twenty-six. Eight twenty-six. Yeah, we better stop 